Hey guys, Ivan here and this is the newest physique update of Big Ramy. Of course, we saw him guest posing a couple of days ago, but now we can see him posing in his gym and let me tell you, I am very, very impressed by his physique. And honestly, I like this physique more than any other physique of today that we saw so far. I like this more than I like Brandon Curry's physique. I like this more than Rolly Winkler's physique. I know that Big Remy doesn't have that many fans and that most people pretty much give up on him, but me personally, I still want to see him win the Mr. Olympia because look at this, this is completeness all day long. What muscle is he lacking? None. I mean, you can make an argument about his calves, but I think he brought them up actually this year as we saw that guest pose that I'm gonna play for you later in this video as well. But as for now, as for his upper body, as you can see, arms huge, but like really huge arms. He brought up his arms back again, like they were maybe like in 2014, something like that. That was the time when he had very big arms and now they're huge again. Um, chest on point. It could be a little bit fuller, but it's not bad chest, definitely. It's really good chest. Stomach, in check, he knows how to control his stomach very, very well. And for a guy of this size, he really does that very well. Now, his legs, let's not even talk about his legs, one of the best legs ever. So, muscularity-wise, he is on point. He is where he needs to be to win the Mr. Olympia, to be one of the greatest of all time, as the matter of fact. His back could uh, mature a little bit more, but it's good back. First of all, I mean, it's super wide, and as wide as it is, it's not lacking in thickness. It's definitely very thick from the sides, so there's a lot of muscle on that back, and it's very complete. The lats are inserted low, the thickness of the traps and rhomboids and rear delts is on point, the, the, the erectors are also there, just very complete and very good back. So basically we established that the muscularity is definitely not gonna be one of his problems. He's definitely very complete muscle-wise. He has all the muscle, he can control his midsection quite well, he has one of the greatest legs of all time. I mean, he's just huge. He's just bigger than everybody. He's big, Remy. That's his name. His name is not Mamdu Elsbia or whatever it is. You don't call him that. You call him Big Remy. And how many other bodybuilders have that prefix to their names? Big. Because he's bigger than all of them. And I love size. I mean, open class is all about size. But in order for him to win, he needs to come conditioned. So muscularity, not a problem. It's all about conditioning at this point. He can have the biggest legs in the history of the world, but unless they are peeled to the bone, they will still not be good enough to beat some of the other guys who have much smaller, not only legs, but pretty much the, their entire bodies, right? So it's all about conditioning for Big Ramy at this point. And uh, being only three weeks out, we saw him right here, as Victor Martinez Legends Championship in New York and uh, for, as I said, three weeks out, he looks good. He looks like he's getting ready for the Mr. Olympia and I think, and I already said this before, they should invite him. Back then, in Joe Weider time, everybody was invited because, look guys, I mean, sure, some other guys competed and deserved their place for the Mr. Olympia. That's right, that's true. But some of those guys will play it dead last. Or maybe they will crack the top 10. But if Big Ramby showed up, if he competed, guys, I mean, with this lineup, let's be real, I mean, he wouldn't be less than top 5. That's like worst case scenario, if he comes off again. So if he comes off, the only people that he won't be able to beat would be Rolly Winkler, William Bonek, Brandon Curry and Dexter Jackson. The other guys are not on his level. They are not his league. So, in my opinion, Big Remy can come off again and take top five. Is that not reason enough to invite Big Remy to the Mr. Olympia? I'm sure it is. I'm sure it is. I say it is. And I want to see him at the Mr. Olympia stage because I don't think he will take fifth place. I don't think he'll crack the top five. I think he will be top three or even win the Mr. Olympia. So, now it's all about coming shredded, coming peeled. He is not known for that. He came very close to being peeled in 2017, where he took second place, behind Phil Heath, very good Phil Heath. And Phil Heath, when he's on, he's basically unbeatable. He's one of the greatest of all time. And now, without Phil Heath, without Sean Roden even, he can win the throne. He can win the Mr. Olympia very, very easily. He just needs to come like he was in 2017. He's more complete than Roly. He has back. Roly doesn't have back. He's more complete than Brandon. 
His legs will crush Brandon's legs. He has much better structure than Bonek. He's much, much bigger than Dexter. He just needs to come sharp. And here, he's looking pretty much the way he looked in 2018 Mr. Olympia. He just needs to come a little bit sharper so he can win the Mr. Olympia. So, guys, I think if they invite Big Remy and if he shows up a tad sharper than he was in his guest pose, I think he can win the Mr. Olympia. He's too complete, he's too big, and he's too good of a bodybuilder overall, in my book. Whatever you think, tell me down below in the comment section. Like the video if you enjoyed it and please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any other future Mr. Olympia and bodybuilding updates. All the best guys, bye bye.